Hi folks, this is all the fruit and here I'm in the beautiful botanic garden of Luca in central Italy. I'm really glad that I got a, a recommendation to come here, otherwise I wouldn't have visited this garden and probably wouldn't have visited the city of Luca at all. But I was told if you want to see a good botanic garden in Tuscany, don't go to the famous old ones like Pisa or Florence, go to Luca. Well, Luca is basically a baby in the, let's say, compared to other gardens in the region. Italy has the oldest botanic gardens in the world and Pisa and Florence. I think Pisa is among the three oldest botanic gardens in the world and Florence is still, the botanic garden is almost 500 years old. This year I say that is a baby just a bit over 200 years old, which is nothing for Italian botanic gardens. But of course, in 200 years, you can already develop some really great, huge trees. Look at this cedar tree here, for example. It's one of the biggest I've ever seen. I've seen a couple of this size. Oh, wait, this is even older than the Plantato. Oh, no, no, it's not older. Okay, it's introduced in 16. It's planted in 1822, so pretty much, yeah, two years after the botanic garden was founded. So this is being, so this is now exactly 200 years old and about three meters thick. And in the vaults underneath the botanic garden, yeah, the city of Luca is surrounded by miles and miles of old city walls with walls and catacombs underneath. And then they are keeping pieces of a lot of other old trees like this one they had to cut here. Here, by the way, a nice bunya bunya pine uh, with tasty giant cones. Maybe this was an ancient bunya bunya tree, but they had to cut it and plant it the new one. Well, the botanic garden is really great. I already made a separate video about the greenhouses and the system and all the hundreds and hundreds of trees which are in pots here. As you can see from the uh, uh, from the selection of trees, we are not in a very mild climate. We are in central Italy, about I don't know, 10, 15 kilometers from the coast. The climate is kind of a Medi uh, Mediterranean climate. Here you can see the evergreen oaks growing on those little on this little hill. But most of the trees in the botanic garden are deciduous. The climate is Mediterranean, especially now with climate change. Before that it was yeah, kind of on the fringe of Mediterranean and sub-Mediterranean, but it's not the same as like, let's say, southern Spain, southern Portugal, Sicily, Sardinia, Naples or Malta, other places where I've been in the Mediterranean. It's Mediterranean to sub-Mediterranean, so you'll see a mixture of Mediterranean plants, plants you can grow in places like France and Britain, plants you can grow in Germany, very beautiful garden, very well maintained, and they don't just have the normal stuff, they have, they have a lot of rare stuff too, that's for sure. I mean, a lot of places call themselves botanic gardens in many different countries, and more than half of those places or even three quarters of those places they don't live up to the they don't live up to this uh, name but here this one definitely it's beautiful i i will not start reciting to you all the different tree species here just enjoy the the beautiful lawns the beautifully manicured botanic garden well Taxus Pacata, this one is quite old. In Florence I saw a couple much older ones in private gardens, but they couldn't access them, unfortunately. Beautiful, beautiful botanic garden. Ah, this seems to be a coastal redwood. A nice collection of... This collection of camellias, this one with those little flowers, is quite beautiful. It's like, I don't know, I've, I've seen such gardens on the Italian lakes on the Swiss border, but not in the rest of Italy, like a really well-maintained manicured garden. Nice, beautiful azaleas here. 
I mean, yeah, you have to pay five euro to get in here, but I think it's still heavily subsidized outside of the school children who get in for free and the couple tourists like me. I haven't seen other people here. Another beautiful sequoia. This one must be also close to 200 years old. It seems that most of the ancient trees are gone. I saw like maybe less than 10 really gigantic old trees. I think, yeah, most of them didn't make it through the two centuries of garden. But still, very beautiful park in a very beautiful medieval city with completely intact um, old towns around it, as I said, by miles and miles of walls. All the new neighborhoods are separated are separated from the old town by those walls and a huge expanse outside the walls. So beautifully preserved old town. Wonder how they managed to build this botanic garden 200 years ago. Yeah, folks, as I said, I don't want to uh, to go to every single plant now and show them to you. But if you are in Luca, definitely try to... Try, oh. Oh no, it's a camellia. I, I thought it's a lily pili. What a pity. Uh, well, definitely try to visit the botanic garden. It is, it is unique even for a place like Tuscany, which is full of beautiful old gardens and palaces. Definitely visit this garden. Apart from that, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful and unique botanic garden of Luca. Actually, I already took a lot of those videos. And, of course, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.